Hi guys, very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome to the video number 393. My name is Ajay and in this video we are today going to learn a uh, couple of uh, very important things about the file dialogs, right? How to get them open and what are the different scenarios, how you can basically change your VB programming and you can, you know, instead of having a, a two pop-ups or maybe five pop-ups uh, different different time, you know, you can just uh, have a one pop-up and pull out the five different files. Now, for those who are watching the channel for the first time, uh, guys, we have got 393 videos including this one on this channel for on excel excel vba ms access and access vba and you need to click on the playlist and here you can see that all the different different titles are here and uh, under every playlist you will find the videos relevant to that you know particular title for example if you're looking for the excel offset please go and check out these four videos and when you click on that you will find some basic videos and some videos are intermediate and some are very advanced videos so basically i'm trying to cover everything you know uh, from the day i have started this channel and uh, recently uh, you know i think yesterday or day before yesterday uh, itself uh, i had actually uploaded a video which was you know uh, which was really very well uh, you know accepted by all of you and you had uh, sent out the emails and also posted the comments i really like that and the video number is actually 393 what where we learned that how to pop up the file dialogues and to you know uh, open the files from it now in this video what we are going to do is first of all you should know that what is a file dialog box right so you can also watch this 257 video how to use the file dialog but in this video i'm going to actually you know start from the scratch and i'm going to tell you what are the situations uh, you know where you can actually use these file dialogs and in a very different way now suppose um, if I just uh, let's say if I just open any file for example I just open this uh, any excel file which is uh, data validation now what we want to do is we want to create a macro which should uh, you know take us to the uh, a box you know you see that when you open anything from here this I in fact uh, explained in my previous video as well so this is basically when you click on the open you know what happens uh, this is the box which comes in front of you right this box I'm talking about now in this box suppose if i want to pick up the your files in this folder which is ajay right now the thing is that you may have a possibility that you just need one file if you need a one file you can just click here and open it right but what if you need the two files under the same folder so you have two choices one is declare pop up the file dialog box two times and every time you know user is going to choose one file this and then second file this understand the situation would go worse if you want to open 10 files or if you want to open maybe 15 files right then that doesn't mean that we are going to show the file dialog 10 times so what i can do is i can change the property of the file dialog i can run the loop there and user can select all the files in one go and then he when he clicks ok all the files will get open this is what actually we would go ahead and try to understand in this video right so let's go ahead and um, let me first of all uh, go to the developer tab and let's uh, on the visual basic and uh, so we are just going to touch you know 400 video i mean we are just left with the seven videos and it's extreme 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 you know it's a pride for me it's a great sense of responsibility and it, it is a great sense of also you know uh, i mean extremely happy also that we have you know uh, come so far uh, we have come uh, actually a long way we have created this channel and uh, every day a lot of you guys are you know getting associated with the channel so thank you so much for this because i'm um, very soon we are going to hit 2000 subscribers and i can't believe that because you know uh, uh, for, uh, in in december 31st i think my subscriber was around 1000 can you beat that in just four months in just four months i'm now going to touch 2000 subscribers right and to to reach to the 1000 it took almost a one year for, for me right so that is clearly an indication that this is really something you know my information my sharing is really helping me a lot so let us go ahead and quickly first of all understand so the first thing which i want to uh, uh, do here is uh, let me create some macro which is file dialog okay and let me increase the size of this so that you should be able to see that could go in the tools and click on the options and uh, and i'm going to make it maybe 10. now the first thing which i want to do is how to show up the file dialog so for the to do the file dialog you just need to declare this as a file dialog you need not to use any library you need not to go to the tools and click on any reference just 
file dialog is the default library which will be available to you set fld because file dialog is an object it is not kind of integer byte you know it, it's an object and you need to use the set word with that so this is how you write application and then you write the file dialog okay and now what we want to do is so there are different types of the file dialogs so now if you want to just uh, go to the folder and you don't really uh, need to know that how many excel files or text files are you know uh, are, are laying under that particular folder then you use this uh, the folder picker right if you want to use the file picker then what happens when you use the file picker basically it immediately picks up the file it it suppose in my case it is going to be the excel file so i can use this mso file dialog file picker right so if if you just click on that now the next thing is that we would like to show this so i use the fld dot show now what happens when i run this you see that this is going to show me all the files so if i'm on the ajay folder i get to see all my files now if i try to open you know all these files one by one and i I have selected all these excel files in front of you i have used the shift key you know uh, it's very uh, i mean in the front end excel without programming how you open the multiple files this is how you open the multiple uh, multiple files you click here and then you press shift you know that's how i'm going to click ok now once you're going to click ok you want to ensure that all the files should get opened here okay so what is the first approach this is what we are going to learn today so my first approach would be suppose um, if i want two different files to get opened one by one so maybe i can declare this as fld1 and then i can see that fld you know uh, one dot show now what will happen in this case i will simply go here because uh, i need to know that what is the name of the file so i write here that file name one equals to whatever we have selected in the file dialog one you you can select it from here selected item we choose the selected item and then we write here one and then what will happen you can open the file from here open and then you just write the file name here okay so you write here file name one dot path okay um, or maybe let's just wait for the second first of all let me declare here the file name as well so i'm going to declare the file name dem file name one as string because this is going to be string right now here what you want to open uh, so basically uh, what i want to open is that the file which uh, you know is going to be opened so the name of that file is i'm gonna get it from name one that's how okay now when you run this see what will happen you got the file dialog i select this for example test one click ok and now let's have a look what you get here you get here test one along with the path so that means the file is going to be open and the file is open now this is very nice as long as you just want to have one file getting opened now my question to you is that what if you want to open the two files so i again run this and now i select maybe test one and then test two so i click ok when you click ok you see that in the background it's just that the test one is opened where is the test two there is no test two it is not coming and the reason is because you have said that selected item has to be on the index number one so basically you will have to write here two right now for example then what will you do what what will be the next option for people who doesn't really know this option very well what they will do is they will give give us the suggestion that uh, let us create you know one more file dialog so i'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here and similarly I just copy this and I'm going to paste it here okay once you have the file dialog showing up on the screen then you will have this item getting selected after you know your file dialog you would write here another file dialog which you want to show so I write here show and by the way we need to change this to as two so you write here two and then I will also go ahead and write my file name too okay so of course this is not a good way i mean this is a very i would say the very basic way yeah um, but, but we will definitely do something amazing here just wait for the right time i'm just going to tell you in the couple of minutes but first of all uh let's uh do this so i again go and i copy this line and i'm going to paste it here and uh, the file name would also come here so you're going to change everything so file name 2 will hold the another file and this time the index would be 2 and this is going to be the file 2 right so i have declared the two file uh, dialog boxes 
now file dialog fld1 fld2 and then this is also going to be the fld2 so first we will have the file dialog 1 coming up and we're going to pick up the number from there and then there would be another file dialog and again it will also have its first index so basically we will have the two file dialog boxes coming here right because we are trying to open the multiple files so just imagine if you have five workbooks and you want to open them you know then you have you will in this way you will have to write fld1 fld2 fld3 4 5 and so on it is going to be very hectic well maybe in the programming you can write it i mean it's just a copy and paste but just imagine you know what in what situation you are going to put your user i mean he will see the five different pop-ups man that's crazy i mean you know it's gonna irritate them and they will say that it's better you know we don't touch the vv programming and we are happy uh, you know with the manual work right so i'm just going to now run this there we go i run this and you have the first file dialog box coming here so and uh, you you see that this is coming here uh, this is because the file is already open so i just found it it is opened you know i have a very sharp eyes no doubt in that all right so let's just run this again and now i have the perfect picture i open this test one i click ok this is going to open the file name you can see here the file name very nice i knew it so now i again go and now the file dialogs 2 would come and i got to select the test 2 and now in this test 2 this is going to be the test 2 you can see here the same path and i will have my test 2 open so if this is something which excites you and if this is something which you want to go forward use it please I mean I don't have any problem in that right but I have a better way and the better way is that uh, let me you can pause the video and you can see this code because right now I'm going to I'm going to copy this entire code and I'm going to put it in the different macro so let me go to the insert in the module and here I'm going to paste this and let me just name this loop now we don't need the file name too because I'm going to run the loop and the loop will check how many items, how many Excel files I have selected in that my file dialog, right? Can you can you believe that? Yes, you can do that. You can do that, guys. You can simply find it out how many files you have selected and one by one they, these all files are going to be open. So this is how we're gonna run this. I don't need the file dialog too. In just file dialog one I will have my work done so I need to create one variable which is I'm going to create as I and uh, I will start from equal to one two how many items you have selected how will you come to know that well obviously uh, when you use this uh, file dialog one it has a property called selected items right now in the selected items what you're gonna write well in the selected items you're gonna write not gonna write anything you just simply write count okay you use the count property so count is going to tell you that how many basically the excel files user has selected from that you know the box the pop-up which which came in front of you so in this particular loop i will simply say that keep opening the file so i'm just using the workbooks open and now here we will simply write the you know the uh, the path and uh, the path is going to be obviously the file uh, name one okay. uh, so uh, uh, one more thing we want to do i think uh, because you know file name one will always remain static because once you get that file open the file number one will come so you should not actually use this particular thing i i guess uh, let us go ahead and uh, let us actually cut this line and paste it here and instead of this one let's make it dynamic which is i because i is something which every time is going to change so every time the i will change from one two three four five how many files you have selected depending upon that and then we will have a different path and finally we are going to use it in the workbooks dot open so if i just run this let me see that now i'm going to select uh, first of all let me cancel this and uh, close all the existing files so we are going to select three files and we are going to see that how the code is going to work so i just press f8 and uh, now i selected in front of you all the three files this is the index one this is index two this is the index three okay now the the file should open now before i open any file i don't i want to comment this because we will open every file in the loop so it goes here now if i hover you can see here it clearly says that user has selected the three files so that means the loop has to run three times so the first time when it is going to run this index will be obviously one because you are starting the loop so that means this file name is going to give you what 
can see here test one and this is what i'm passing this you know the parameter the variable here in this argument workbook start open so the test one get open you have the test one open now what is the next time the next time is i is going to be two obviously so two is means that two you are passing in here so what is the second item which we have selected so if i just run it you see that it is test two so in this way test two is going to be open and finally the third one is the test three because of this i which is you know changing with this loop so now i have another file which is open and that's it guys so you can get all these files open using this loop as well so the the major the main point actually of this you know exercise is this particular code how to use this dot count property of the file dialog right so choice is yours and if you if you haven't watched my previous video the video number um, i think it was 392 yeah you can uh, you should watch it because that's a very good example how to pick up the files from the different folders and how to you know open those files and uh, put it in one excel file so there i tried actually the first approach i showed the two dialog boxes but you can use this particular code there as well so that's it for now guys and i hope you will enjoy this don't forget to click on the like if you think that this video was pretty good and please do subscribe to the channel to support me we will be coming back and talking more about the excel access access vb excel vb very soon thank you so much for watching